So I dug down into a hive that I had flagged and the reason I had it flagged because it was uncertain to the condition it was. Unfortunately, as you can see, it ran into a drone layer. So availability of this hive was uh, removed and I shook them out. These bees are expendable at this time because they're old bees and a lot of value to them. So unfortunately they get shook out into the grass. Many of them will make it into that hive. Some of them will perish, but that is that. So I just want to show you, I pulled this hive off this pallet and one of the disadvantages of these U-clips, which I use to hold my hives down into place onto the pallet, is because the boxes are tight to each other, as you can see, tight next to each other there. Because of that, this becomes a great place for carpenter ants to live. And they especially love old wood. My old wood boxes here. You just chew them away. So the uh, rainwater, you know, seeps down into here. It's a nice, moist environment for the carpenter ants to live. And they just tear apart my boxes. My old boxes, that is. So these boxes will hit the burning pile. That one will next year, once I call it out after winter. One thing I do find, and I don't have any of these boxes in this yard, is that the, uh, the boxes that I have dipped, they don't seem to, the bees, uh, the carpenter ants don't seem to like to dig into that wood as readily. 